वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी शिल स्टडी चैप्टर फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड सेवन दैट इज मेजरमेंट ऑफ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी सो दिस इज अ पार्ट वन वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन क्लास सेवन सो लेट्स स्टडी द लेसन ऑल राइट सो स्टूडेंट हियर सम ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर गिवन टू आज वेरियस आर्टिकल्स एंड मटेरियल सो यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर देर आर वेजिटेबल्स आर देर थ्रेड इज देर ग्लास ऑफ मिल्क इज देर रिंग इज देर एंड क्लॉथ्स आर देर ओके so how are the various articles and material shown in the picture are the measured okay so here obviously vegetables uh, we should uh, measure the weight of a vegetable length of the thread and uh, weight of a ring glass of a milk we should we shall measure this articles by some of the other physical quantity so in this lesson we shall study mainly about the physical quantity so let's see what are these quantities All right. So, what are the physical quantity? So, student, in our day-to-day -day life, we measure many things such as the weight of fruits, vegetables, food grains, temperature of the body, or some liquids, volume of a liquids, density of various substances, the speed of a vehicles, etc. All right. And quantities such as the mass, weight, distance, speed of an object, temperature of a body or liquid, volume are called as a physical quantity that means that means all the quantities which are measured uh, mentioned over here that is mass weight distance speed temperature are nothing but the physical quantities and these we are quantities we are using in our daily life all right so a value and a unit are used to express the magnitude of a physical quantity that means magnitude means size or a quantity or the values okay so the to express the magnitude of physical quantity like mass to may express the mass weight temperature of the body some values and unit are used all right so here for example swarali walks 2 km every day and in this example 2 is the value okay 2 km every day swarali walks okay so here in 2 km 2 is the value of a physical quantity okay and kilometer that is kilometer is the unit used to express the magnitude of a distance which is a physical quantity so, so here a girl swarali uh, walks about 2 km distance okay so here distance is the physical quantity okay and the physical distance is nothing but the 2 km so in 2 km 2 is the value of the physical quantity uh, physical quantity and kilometer is the unit to express the distance all right so i hope you all have understood this so now uh, in in this slide we are going to study the scalar quantity now let's see what are this scalar quantity so a quantity that can be completely expressed by its magnitude alone is called a scalar quantity so this is a physical quantity which is um, expressed only by its magnitude magnitude means value or their um, quantity or their size so this is called as a scalar quantity for example only magnitude that is a value with a unit is used to express quantities such as length breadth time work mass temperature density area etc so these are the uh, examples of scalar quantity and uh, length breadth time work and um, the unit of uh, these scalar quantity i have mentioned in the bracket like for the length the units are centimeter meter kilometer for breadth again same centimeter meter kilometer and for time we are ma ma expressing the time in the units like hours seconds minutes day year many more okay and for work the unit is newton for mass it is kg that is kilogram gram milligram temperature can be expressed in degree fahrenheit degree celsius all right so density is kilogram per meter cube area can be expressed as centimeter square meter square etc so these are the scalar quantity and thus we say that the length of a tunnel is 2 km okay length can be expressed in 2 km and the body temperature that is if we have an fever so the fever how we will mention the fever yeah, that is the fever temperature is 101 degree fahrenheit all right so these are the scalar quantity now next are the 
vector quantity so the quantity that is expressed completely only when magnitude and direction are both given so these quantity are called as a vector quantity so in our previous slide we have seen the scalar quantity the quantity scalar quantity expressed only with the magnitude but here we have vector quantity so this vector can quantity express by two factor one is magnitude that means size and value of the object and next is the direction will be given that is north direction south direction any of the direction will be given all right so here displacement velocity weight are examples of the vector quantity now what is displacement it, it is a motion of an object from one place to another place all right and next is the velocity what is velocity is speed of an object in a particular or in a given direction so these three are the vector quantity and for example a displacement of a 2 km towards the north all right sorry 20 km towards the north so this is the example of vector quantity okay now next is next example is the aeroplane flying at a velocity of 500 km per hour towards Mumbai so these are the some example of vector quantity so I hope you all have understood the difference between scalar and vector quantity also all right okay now next is the mass now what is the mass so the amount of matter present in a substance is called mass we know that there are three uh, uh, states of matter like a liquid gas gas and solids so the amount of matter like uh, if it is gas so in gas if it is in liquid like uh, we can uh, notice here that in a glass particular amount of water molecules water is there okay liquid is there so the amount of matter present in a glass that is amount of a liquid present in a glass is nothing but the mass all right so matter has a natural tendency here these are the state of matter all right so matter has a natural tendency to resist a change in its state and it is called as a inertia now basically what does it mean uh, inertia is in simple language that means in if an object is in rest position that means say if an object is at stable position at rest position uh, so the uh, rest position will be continued by the object uh, but if the like flowing of a water okay the uh, flowing of a water will be continued nah? so this is a if the water is in flowing position so it will continue the that state of a uh, state okay that means it, if it is in motion so it will continue in motion and if it is at rest position so it, the rest position of an object will be continue it will not change the um, state of an object will unchange so this is called as an inertia all right so mass is a qualitative measure of the inertia of an object and mass is a scalar quantity why it is a scalar quantity because it has only magnitude not direction so it does not change and that means mass of an object does not change from place to place anywhere in the world so mass of an object will be constant uh, like uh, in one planet also and another planet also it will uh, not change and larger the mass the quantities uh, mass and weight are however sorry okay so the quantities mass and weight are however different gram and kilograms are the units of a mass okay and when we use the two pan common balance in a shop we compare the we are comparing the two masses all right now next is the weight so what what is a weight the gravitational sorry what we measure in grams kilogram is the mass okay we are measuring the grams and kilogram that is a mass not weight so what is a weight the wave, gravitational force that acts on the mass is called as a weight so basic first of all what is a gravitational force so gra it is a force of attraction um, uh, of an object that means earth we know that it earth it has a tendency to attract every other object towards itself so this is a gravitational force of an earth okay so the gravitational force that acts on in the mass or an object is called as the weight and the gravitational force by which the earth attracts an object towards its center is called the weight of an object and in simple language weight is the how much gravitational force acting on an object or a mass is nothing but the weight all right 
so the gravitational force by which the earth attracts an object towards its center is called the weight of an object and therefore weight is a vector quantity what is a vector quantity just now we have learned that it is a quantity which is expressed by two factor that is magnitude as well as direction all right so weight of an object changes from place to place so this is a basic difference between the weight and mass we have studied in our, in our previous slide that mass of an object will remains constant place to place but weight of an object changes from place to place all right it is different at different places on the earth and the weight of an object on the moon is one sixth uh, its weight on the earth that means if the weight of an object is Uh, six basically six uh, kg on the earth so it will be one one kg on the moon okay so this is how the weight changes from earth to the moon okay all right so why would the weight of an object be maximum at poles and minimum at the equator so why why this is so so basically first of all we uh, know the shape of the earth is a spherical in shape you can observe okay this is a spherical not the circle so as the spherical in your uh, as the our earth is a uh, spherical in shape the distance between the pole just now i have indicated a black arrow so this is a distance between the center of the earth and the pole and we have seen here weight is maximum at the pole why this is maximum at the pole because the distance between pole and center of the earth is less and as the less distance is between these two are there so force of gravity will be more over there and as the force of gravity is more weight is maximum at the poles all right and uh, if we will see in the equator the distance i have measured with the pink arrow in the distance between the center of the earth and the equator is greater and as the uh, distance is greater gravitational force will be less and as the gravitational force is less weight is minimum at the equator okay so i hope you all have understood now just see in the sentence the distance between the center of the earth and pole is less so gravity is more and more gravity weight is more maximum and distance between center of the earth and equator is more more dis the distance gravity is less and less the gravity weight is minimum all right okay then our next question is why is the weight of an object at high altitude less than its weight at sea level okay that means the weight on the sea level is greater as compared to high altitude okay now let's see the answer weight of an object is the force by which that means it is a gravitational force which is acting on the object okay so hence if uh, height is increases that means as we go above the uh, from above the sea level that means as we go higher altitude level what happened the distance between the center of the earth and uh, object is increases and as the in distance increases gravitational force become less and as the gravitational force become less so the weight is minimum at the higher altitude okay now will it be possible to use one and the same unit to measure physical quantities such as mass weight distance velocity and temperature so student in everyday affairs we measure many different physical quantities like mass weight distance velocity and temperature okay so as this physical quantity are different from one another one another right that is temperature is different from distance weight is dis different from distance okay so these are basically different from one another okay so we cannot use the same unit for all the physical quantity quantities so therefore different units are used while measuring different quantities like to measure the weight there are different units uh, and to measure the distance the units are different for the temperature it is different that is degree celsius and degree fahrenheit so student i hope you all have understood this um, part of the first part of this lesson and next part we will continue in our next session thank you all